Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Tank Be Chopping, and we back with another haircut tutorial. All right, guys, what we're doing on this cut is we're going to be doing a two and a half, and we're going to be doing a low fade. So I'm taking my JRL Onyx Clipper. I got my number two guard lever all the way open, and I'm going over the top of my client's head. Uh, he normally gets a taper, but here recently he's been switching it up. He decided he wants to start doing a low fade. So that's basically what we've been doing. That's what we've been giving him. Uh, this is probably like my second or third time. I'm giving him a low fade uh, but nonetheless man like I said we're going over the top with that two guard lever open I don't know why I said it like that but we're going over the top with that two guard lever open and I am using the JRL Onyx on this haircut just so y'all know and if you are interested I believe you can get this tool at fwbarbersupply.com use my discount code tank10 but nonetheless now that we went over the top of my client's head with my two guard lever open I'm debulking the sides with my two guard lever closed just so it can blend into the top and what and so when I'm actually doing my blending work I know that I really only have to blend into my number two instead of thinking I gotta blend all the way into my two two and a half so that's why I like to debug the sides with a smaller guard that way it's easier for me to blend into All right, so now that we got that done, I am taking my JRL trimmer, the 2020T. This is the original tr trimmer, not the Onyx trimmer. And what I'm doing here is I'm balding out my client. Uh, you know, we're, we're setting in the shape for the low fade. So as you can see, we started on the temple area, brought it over the ear, and now we're dropping it below the occipital bone. Uh, that's how I do my low fades. I know some people do them different, but that's how I like to do my low fades. And my clients like the way they look. And I've been doing them this way for the past, you know, 15 years or so. So we're going to keep that keep that the way we've been doing it you know what i'm saying we're gonna keep doing it that way but now that that is done i am taking my jrl ghost shaver and i say jrl ghost shaver but it's the same thing as the onyx shaver uh just in white so as you can see i'm taking that shaver all the way up to that line however the closer i get to that line i start relieving some pressure that way it doesn't get it too too short and it doesn't make that bald line too hard to take out later on in this haircut uh, the good thing that i like about the single four shaver is it's really good for hard to reach areas you know we're not doing a lot of balding on this haircut we're just doing the you know the low parts so it's really easy for me to use this JRL single foil shaver just to make sure you know I don't not that I'm going to take off too much hair but it just it gets into those tighter to reach areas right so that's why I like using single foil shavers on low fades tapers you know things of that of that nature that's why I like using single foil shavers but now that that is done, what you see me doing here is, this is my 1.5 guard, and I'm basically blending into that number two. So I guess you can say, I'm not really doing some downfading. I mean, I guess you can say that I'm doing some downfading right now, but really what I'm doing is I'm just debulking still. I uh, wanted to give myself a cleaner canvas, make it a little easier for me to blend into, you know, the work on top. So I'm taking that 1.5 guard and just blending into that two guard that y'all saw me do earlier on in the haircut. And as you can see, there's some parts where I'm gonna be using the corner of my clipper, and that's just because I don't want to take off too much hair. I want to, you know, be careful of what I'm doing. And now what I'm doing here, my lever is all the way open and I'm going to be setting in my next section following the same shape that I originally created. So that means bringing it over the ear and below the occipital bone in the back. Once again, creating or not creating, but keeping that same shape. That way we can have that same shape for the finished product. Now that that is done, my next step is with my one guard lever open, and I'm basically going to be blending into some of the work I did earlier. If y'all remember earlier, guys, I did the two on the sides and then my 1.5 guard. So now my one guard lever open, it's going to basically blend into that, and then I'm just going to start fading down after this, and then I'll go back in in detail as needed. So as you can see though, I am using the corner of my clipper. Uh, I will just say that I just adjusted my lever closed. Now I'm gonna start to take out this bottom line, but still work up into the blend because I'm still gonna have to use my half guard to get that bottom line completely erased. So I wanna not necessarily raise the blend, but take this one guard a little higher than just that line. Once again, that's because I know that this, uh, this line is gonna have to get taken out with my half guard. So I wanna make sure I'm giving myself enough room to use the guards that I need. And now I'm going in with my half guard lever halfway open. Now I'm just flicking at this line and I'm gonna adjust my lever close, notch by notch, uh, just trying to get that line to come out. And then as you see me do there, uh, I did adjust my lever open and then close. And the reason for that is, 
sometimes there are some discrepancies higher on in the haircut that maybe you know I can take out my one guard so with this half guard on there lever all the way open that makes it about a one guard so I can use that to do a little bit of detail work so even though I said I'm going in with my lever halfway open I am adjusting it maybe more maybe less to get the desired look that I'm looking for depending on depending on how high the discrepancies are you know if they're higher then obviously I'm gonna open my lever and if they're lower I'm gonna adjust my lever closed I hope that makes sense I hope I didn't confuse y'all with that Now that that is done, I'm taking my clipper no guard lever halfway open and I'm going to start to erase this bottom line, uh, working my way up. So I went in with my clipper halfway open and then I adjusted it one notch and then I'm going to adjust it another notch closed to try to get that bottom line completely out. And then I may adjust my lever accordingly, you know, open or closed uh, to get a, to uh, erase some of these uh, discrepancies and some of these dark spots. So one thing that I do want to touch on and let y'all know that this client does have, you know, some darker areas, you know, some thick areas where his hair is and some some I don't want to say dense but I can't think of the exact word but basically some dents in his head you know like his head isn't completely round he's got you know we, we all have bones in our head but some people you can see him a little more so uh, on the side he's got you know uh, his bone sticks out a little more right there so we have to be careful and we have to detail differently when we attack uh, haircuts like this but now I'm going back in with my one guard Lever open, doing some more detail work, raising the blend slightly because I want the blend to be a little higher that way. The blend looks a little more blended and not as compressed as, you know, as it looked. Not that it looks compressed, but I, I don't like compressed blends. Uh, I like to stretch mine out. Now, I will do a compressed blend if the client asks and that's specifically what they want. But nine times out of ten, if, if they're coming to me, uh, you know, I'm not going to do a compressed blend unless that's specifically what they ask for. That's just me, though. To each his own. But now I'm going in with my half guard once again. And as you can see, I'm just adjusting my lever, attacking these darker areas. Like I said earlier on, guys, depending on the head shape and the different textures of hair, not necessarily the different textures of hair, but like the different densities of the hair, uh, it's going to cause you to use different, you know, different notches on the clipper. So you may need to go shorter in some areas than others to make it look even all the way out. Now I'm taking my trimmer. This is the JRL Ghost Trimmer, basically the Onyx Trimmer, but in white. And I'm just taking out that bottom line and then I'm going to go back in with my clipper. For the most part, it's closed and I'm going to uh, be attacking some more discrepancies. Basically, just doing some detail work, guys. And that's the thing. I say this in a lot of my videos, guys. The, the most important part of the blend is when you start to detail, you know, like, yes, you need to t uh, be careful when you're putting in your guidelines. But I think if you move quickly through your guidelines and then once you start taking those guidelines out and you start to really focus on the detail work, I think that's what takes the blend to the next level. And in my opinion, I think that's what makes the haircut look better. And that's, that's just, once again, my opinion. You can value it. You cannot. Totally up to you. But as y'all can see here, guys, I'm lining up my client. Started off in the middle of my client's forehead, setting my initial guideline and then I worked my way over to the vertical bar we hit that vertical bar now we're hitting that C cup giving a nice curve and then I'm gonna go back in and do some detail work so after I line up my client it lets me see the haircut a little more clearer just lets me see the, the discrepancies a little better so I can go back in and detail a little more once again just to get that haircut to look better so that's basically what I'm doing here is I'm just using whatever guards I feel necessary. In this case, I use the 1.5 guard, my one guard, and then my half guard. So basically all the guards that I use in the blend, I'm going to use once again because I want the blend to flow, you know, have a nice flow to it, look nice, and uh, just look just look all complete. So I'm going to go back in and start to detail it just to give it that nice buttery effect. And once again, since he has different densities in his head, I'm going to have to go with different guards to make it look more blended. But now that that is done, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hit my client up with some hair enhancements. This is uh, Temptation by Kiss. Once again, if you want to purchase this, you can go to fwbarbersupply.com and use my discount code TINK10. But we're just going to put a little bit of enhancements, not too much. We don't want to make it look too fake. But once that's done, I'm going to hit them with some hairspray. And then I'm going to use my Tune 45 hair fibers. And that's just to make the, the hairline look a little more natural, a little a little more real, you know what I'm saying? So it don't just look like paint, so it looks like actual hair. So that's basically what's going on here. And I'm just going to tap his hairline one more time just to clean up any discrepancies. Or if it, if it wasn't as straight as I would have liked, I'm going back in and just making it look a little straighter, a little nicer, a little more complete. 
Then we're gonna hit them with some hairspray, and then we're gonna hit them with that razor. So this razor is basically the finishing product, the, fin the final touches on my on my client, just to make sure that that those lines look nice and sharp. And we're just following everything we did with the trimmer. We're just following that up with this razor, just to make this line look a little more sharper, and so that it lasts my client a little longer. Then we're gonna hit that front line up also. But check it out, man. This is how my client's haircut looked once he left the shop. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if y'all new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Remember, guys, if you're in the Houston, Texas area and want a haircut from your boy, you can go to my website, teambechopping.com. You can book there. And uh, yeah, man, that's basically it, YouTube. Uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go. Yeah.